I'm Lucy. I'm from New York City. I landed in Vienna because of love. I had a hard time adjusting to my new town. Where's, where's the action? Where's the, the new stuff? And then um, slowly, slowly but surely, I discovered there's really a lot happening in the city. So I'm happy now. We're sitting at the Sofitel, it's brand new. The decor from the hotel is monochrome. Um, there is black, gray, and white. There's no decorations um, except for these amazing ceilings. Yeah, and it's the newest thing and it's quite beautiful. So as I started to get to know Vienna, I started walking through the back streets and finding all these great little shops and designers and, and thinking who would find them if they weren't living here. And the fact is many people live here and don't know these shops. And then I came up with this idea, I'm going to start a shopping tour. We are in Park which is a very special shop in the 7th district of Vienna. They are carrying very well-known Belgian designers. Um, the concept of the store is a little bit avant-garde or very avant-garde, um, but not things that you can find in any shop in Vienna, so this is really a special place. There's been quite a boom in the past three years especially, almost every month there's a new designer opening a shop here. But to get to these artists, you have to get off the main shopping streets. Vienna is very supportive of artists. They have a rich artistic culture here. Um, the Museum's Quartier is really a magnet for all types of artists and people interested in art. I think there's five or six museums in this location, so it's really the hub of um, art and culture. The museum I'm sitting in is the Momuk, the Modern Art Museum. There are exhibits by the Vienna underground culture, the activist movement. They really pushed the envelope for art during the 50s, 60s, and 70s especially. Then uh, there's modern art exhibits, of course, and there's changing exhibits, too, that come through the museum. So there's a lot going on, yeah. I'm standing in one of the newest parts of the Vienna subway system. It's very efficient, it's very easy to use, and what I really like now is that it's uh, 24 hours on the weekends, which has really boosted the quality of my life. <laughs> We're in St. Charles Elementary, and everything here is organic. You might say this is Vienna's underground organic kitchen. Vienna is known for Wiener Schnitzel, which is deep fried and very greasy and full of potatoes and um, not exactly known as healthy, but uh, it's becoming more and more popular to eat healthier and um, this is really healthy it's really good and you feel good when you're eating it I'm sitting in Das Möbel in the 7th district of Vienna this place is a great cafe a great restaurant and a great place to buy furniture it's made by Austrian designers but also from designers from neighboring countries as well if you're really comfortable in that chair you're sitting in and you have to bring it home with you, then just tell the person uh, at the counter and uh, they'll make it happen. The quality of life here is rich and fulfilling. The past and the future can live together in the present and I think Vienna does that and uh, it makes it very unique, very special.